It's your boy Black Rue back with another Top Stock video. You can catch me every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Benzinga channel. On the Ruel Report, we go over stock, we go over crypto, and for a little Brandon, check this out. DarkHorseWatcher.com you can check Black Rout Investing out every day on there. Uh, that's a little video uh, from my man Scott. You can check him out and his business on nerdface.com. That's nerdface.com. Long time friend of mine. Thank you so much for whipping that up, Scott. Much love, much appreciation. Check him out, guys. So we're going to get right into it. So this week, these are the stocks I'm looking at, but let's just do a little quick uh, rundown of what the stock market looked like on Friday. So on Friday, it took a little dippity do at the end of the day, as we can see here. So honestly, I'm expecting it to come up a little bit from that dip, but who knows after that, um, it, it just dipped so much. It's due to come up a little bit, but who knows where it goes after that. So, um, for the last, what, two days, it dropped about 10 points. So, um, things I'm looking to grab are right here. And the reason I'm looking to grab these guys are basically uh, based on their earnings and their upcoming catalysts. So, let's look at it. So any Indie Semiconductor and Ace Convergence, which is going to be Arctronics Semiconductors, really high on these companies. They've shown us in their fourth quarter earnings that uh, they're companies that we really need to have on our radar. Uh, Indie, I've shared their earnings with you guys before. I think they finally pulled over the news for these guys. Um, nope. I'd have to go look up Thunder Bridge to look at their news. But their earnings were somewhat like 74% year over year for quarter one. So that revenue is, is in there. You know, everybody knows there's a conductor shortage going on. So really big future for this company. It's Convergence. They haven't announced their date where they're going to merge into uh, our chronics yet. But they did give us fourth quarter. Our first quarter uh, earnings, which were really, really good. Sales revenue uh, quadrupled it. Like, actually, they quintupled it five times more. So 30 mil versus 5.5 mil year over year. And they went in the positive with the EPS to 21 after being in the negative six uh eighty six percent or eighty six cents much 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 promise for this company saying goes steel very much hyped up about steel um steel over the last like year has been on fire so I expect this company which is gonna be Agoma Algoma Steel uh, this is Legato uh, Merger Corp. So there'll be Agoma Steel, as you can see below. I don't think they gave us... Okay, they gave us financial reports for the year end. But I would love to see first quarter reports. So since I don't see that, that's okay. But I'm sure they're banging, banging, you know what I mean? I'm sure they're doing great because steel has been on fire. Now, another thing I want to look at very heavy are EVs and EV charging, especially since we just got that Biden deal where they're talking about uh, climate control and things like that. So I'm looking at SNPR, which is going to be Volta charging, I believe. Let's look at it. Yep, Volta Charging, and they do freemium charging. Basically, they give you the charging free. It's fast charging, but what they charge for are the ads that go on to the chargers. And this has been really working out for them. So, 
here we go. They are talking about reaching 100 uh, brand sponsored sh um, charging stations in Maryland. Um, really big on CLI. I think this is EVgo. They reached a deal with like 7-Eleven where 7-Eleven said they would be one of their one of the companies they use. Um, their merger is coming up on June 30th. So in about, or June 29th, and so in 10 days. So very, very high on these charging companies. Catapult, it just merged. It gave us great earnings. I think it was like 88% 88 year over year. So here we go. Orlando Zayas. Gave us the report on that. It's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, Seeking Alpha. I hope they don't try to charge us. Man, this is moving slowly today. All right, so it was something like 88%. I'm not going to make us wait on it. Um, so that was really good news there from Catapult. And since crypto has kind of been on a downturn, uh, Riot and Mara to blockchain miners are really at a great discount right now. And also, I would throw CleanSpark on this list because really they're a miner and a clean energy play. So really, they would fit. They would fit uh, with this new Biden deal as well. So Clean Spark, C L S K, would throw them on the list. And um, last but not least, C C I V, which is going to be Lucid Motors. They had a Super Bowl commercial, and um, all in all, they're just looking good. Whenever they announce their merger date, I think they're going to just shoot up. And I think it's going to be one of those buy the, buy the rumor, uh, sell the news type deals. So CCIV, really, really promising future for them. So just to recap, I went over Indy Semiconductor. Uh, we also went over Lego, which is a Goma Steel. We went over Skinar, which would be um, Volt Charging. And CCI, which would be uh, we went over Catapult, and Blockchain, Bitcoin, and Smart Clean we did a look at the market with the um, buy. And the spy is going down and also the tech, uh, trust you is also going down so guys thanks for watching check me out on these videos um same video here on a helium money and uh, whatever video you guys get as a user um please love you guys have a good one peace Cause it more and we never don't know what it means. Black don't tell you from the middle of way. This is how we get it down with the flu hair. This is how we get it down with the flu hair. This is how we get it down with the flu hair.